In this video, I will be building my first ever PC. As you can see here, I already bought all of the items. Now, if you're wondering and you didn't see my previous video, this actually cost me $2,000. Now, it doesn't have to be that expensive. You can actually buy a very powerful computer for under 650 bucks, depending on what is it that you want it for. So without further ado, Let's go right into this video. Here we have the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X CPU, which has 12 cores and 24 threads and 4.6 gigahertz of CPU speed. The reason why I went with this CPU is because it has a CPU fan with RGB LED lighting that can be controlled within applications once installed on your computer. Here we have the EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 Super XC Gaming with dual HDB fans and RGB LED lighting. And it also comes with Paralink for a better cable management. Here we have the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard, which I strongly recommend you to research your motherboard before you purchase it, because I didn't do that and you shouldn't do what I, what I did. Here's the Corsair Vengeance LPX 64 gigabyte DDR4 has 4 16 gigabytes that add up to the 64 gigabytes of RAM. Here we have the Samsung 970 Evo Plus 1 terabyte SSD, and this is for storage. Here we have the EVGA Supernova 570 G2 80 Plus Gold 750 watt power supply. It has a 10 year warranty, which is the reason why I went with EVGA. Here we have the NZXT H510 computer case which is absolutely beautiful. The only downfall is it has one USB entry, one USB Type-C port, and one auxiliary entry on the front of the PC. We have the Bastar ESD anti-static wrist strap, which I definitely recommend if this is your first time building a PC. Now these are some basically flathead screwdrivers, different sizes, just in case I definitely need this. I couldn't find a magnetic one, so anti-shock wristband. First things first, I do not want to shock my computer. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to connect this thing and I'm going to ground it right into the wall so I won't fry my motherboard. You look at, it's already scratched. I don't know if you can see it, but I already saw some scratch things, but I hope it's just a plastic that I can remove, which I think it is. I'm going to set this aside and um, make sure it doesn't scratch even more. Open up the battery. Just wanted to see this beautiful thing, thing. But I have to remove this plate here so I'm able to access the battery. And it did, just like that. This is what you see. They actually include some straps, which are pretty cool. I didn't know it was gonna actually have that. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to open that, but let's get into putting in the actual battery. Just make sure it's off. Make sure it's off. Because the only thing we're gonna do is just plug it in so we can actually start the build. So this is gonna go on the side of my computer, like so. Right? here all right so now we got to find those little screws that i put down here i forgot to mention and i already had put it in there make sure that the fan is facing downwards so when i install this i'm going to put it face downward right so what we're going to do we got to put it up a little light so i'm able to put it in there that's where i'm going to put my screw Screw in there, screw in there, and screw in there. And screw this bolt here from the battery, and I hook myself to it. Make sure this was strap on, and I'm now going to connect it. Make sure that it's off. You don't want, you do not want it on. All right, so we're going to be working with the motherboard, and we're going to open this up right now. So, I'm going to open this up, take this out, take it out gently. Make sure you're very gentle with the motherboard. You do not want to fry your motherboard. That would suck so badly. Be very gentle with it, like so, okay? This is the motherboard, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna be installing the CPU first. And on mine, the CPU has a little triangle right here at the bottom. Now you're gonna have to look out for that triangle because the CPU will also have that little triangle so you can actually install it. So we're gonna open this. Don't touch the bottom, do not touch it. Just grab it from the sides. Make sure you don't drop this. And we're gonna do this little latch right here. It should just pop out. Mm 
All right. So now what we're gonna do is take out this little latch. We're just gonna sit it on top. You do not need to put any force on it. You just basically sit it on top. There. That's all we're gonna do is just fit in there perfectly. And you just go down so you can tighten it and it is secure. Do not swiggle it around as I don't know if you could hear that, but you could literally hear a click sound. There, now we're done with the CPU. This is a cooler, this right here will go onto the processor so it can keep it cool. Before you plug it in, you need to identify where this goes and this is your fan cable. I just placed it down. I follow these instructions right here, placed it down, locked it in, and that's it. Now, when it comes to the CPU fan, I the fan is right here, it says CPU fan, and you'll see that it will match directly onto the actual motherboard. So you just plug that in there. Do not want to break anything. So there, the CPU is officially installed. I'm gonna get my RAM. I'm gonna install my RAM right on, on here and um, wish for the best. I just set them aside. I opened all of them since I'm installing all 64 gigabytes of RAM. Tint. Oh, it clicked. So I guess you do push it in there very nicely until it clicks. As you can see, you heard a click. That's a good click, that means it's in there. and there, and it's installed. Now, I'm gonna install the SSD. Open it up. Take out the SSD. Motherboard actually came with a screw and it's called the M.2 screw. They're actually the same thing. We're gonna use one of these to actually have it go down. Basically, put it in sideways. Like that it's gonna be wiggling up like that and then you're basically just gonna push it down and put in the screw screw it on there don't do it too tight just do it enough just so it can stay there and uh, there you go we got the SSD one terabyte in there so now we're gonna get the motherboard All right, here's a screw here, here. There's another screw there. Screw there, there. Screw there. And a screw there, right next to the CPU connector. And a screw there, right next to the CPU fan. This is where your graphics card is gonna go. Make sure you take this thing down before you put it in. All right, so I already put the graphics card. Now, under this plastic thing, I put in my SSD. I remember putting it down here. This is the second slot for an SSD. You can have up to two SSDs on this motherboard. So make sure that you put it on the on the first SSD slot and not on the second one like I did. I already fixed it. The other thing too is that before you install this graphics card, you need to take off these two right here and this plate right here. I needed to take this plate off and this, these two plates here so it can go right in there. So this is completed. Most of it is just think, I really recommend you to read the motherboard user guide. You have to read it if you're trying to get all the plugins and everything correctly. I don't think I did a great job, but I think that's better for my first time. It's actually the way I manage my cables and everything. I, and I actually don't have a lot of things on this. Might put uh, some more things on it for sure in the future. But I wanted to show you how it would look once I turn it on. So there you go. The graphics card is RGB colored and also the, the CPU. I have this fan working, this fan working, which is a good sign. Well, I plugged in the HDMI, but nothing appeared says no signal the tv was not detecting my signal from my computer and i changed the hdmi from 
where it connected to my motherboard onto my graphics card and uh, I reset it the computer and voila it actually worked it says reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key when it turns on it'll say press delete to set up boot or whatever this is the actual menu for this thing I have no idea what all of this means it shows me all the voltage, the CPU, the core numbers. I have 12 cores, 24 threads on this computer. I have various things on here, but this is the one I'm gonna use, the USB floppy sandwich cruiser glide. That's the one that has the Windows setup. I wanna check that everything is secure, so we're gonna go to memory. How much memory is it getting? Yes, I do have all of the RAM. I have 16 gigabytes for each one, so total 64 gigabytes of RAM. For the storage, SSD 970 EVO plus one terabyte. I don't have no SATA data. This is the performance of my, my actual computer. CPU temperature, this is the fan speed. I honestly don't know what the heck this is. I'm just looking at these numbers. I mean, I'm familiar with CPU temperature and all of that, but I'm not sure about uh, ideally if this is uh, good numbers or not. I just wanna make sure everything's identified in terms of all the things that I plugged into my motherboard. Everything's working, everything working here. All the lights are on, that are supposed to be on. Um, it looks kinda dark. I might get some more RGB lights in this machine and possibly more fans as well, so it can be cooler. But I, I'm digging it, it looks awesome, it looks pretty cool. Um, that RGB light, I didn't even know it had it. I'm trying to see if it has more, it probably has more, I'm not sure. Overall, I'm really satisfied with this computer. It looks beautiful. Let me get right into installing Windows 10. So I successfully downloaded and activated my Windows 10 on my PC. As you can see, I already downloaded various games on my PC and I edited my first video on here. That is it for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.